Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to create pad stacks uh, using PCB Editor's pad stack editor. So we can launch this obviously from inside of PCB Editor. If we had an existing design open, and there's a there's a tools pad stack modify design, or we could open a pad stack this way. Uh, but in general, you may well want to just launch this from the start menu or the the, the search menu on a on a Windows 10. So I'm just going to look for, look for uh, Stack editor because you can run it as an external program. So what I've got here is the different kind of pads, pad stack types that are going to tie in with the IPC2581 export. Um, I've also got different pad geometries, so I can have things like an n-sided polygon, rounded and chamfered corners, uh, octagons, oblongs, whatever I need to kind of the pad shape that I need to define. So we'll start off, we'll do a file new. Let's just go and browse to a, a different directory and let's call this uh, steve underscore pth. We'll click save and I'm going to make it as a through hole pin. We'll click OK. So we'll set the units that we want, millimeters. Uh, and then I work along the tabs basically. So I want to define the drill. So I've got a circular drill, um, the finished diameter, maybe let's set this as a 0.5 millimeter. Uh, I've got a tolerance of plus or minus 0.1. If I had a specific drill size, tool size, I can put that information in here. And I can also pick whether I wanted to be a laser specific type drill if I wanted to. Um, plated or non-plated. Uh, and then I've also got the option to start to do multiple drills. Um, if you wanted to have a, 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 a thermal pad, for example, you can do multiple drill information. There is a secondary drilling um, tab that allows me to enable something like a back drill hole. Uh, I can also, if I wanted to turn this into something other, a counter bore or a counter sink, I can start to define that information in the pad itself. Um, and then obviously the drill symbol for the NC drill legend drawing. So if I've got a circular, maybe I just want to put a, a character of A that's half a millimeter, that would then enter on my, my, my pad stack. There is a drill offset as well, if I want to offset it from the, from the center location. Um, and then we start to define the, the begin layers, the end layer. So I've got a begin layer, uh, let's have a circle. I can put in, say, a millimeter diameter hole. Um, and then once we've got that, we can effectively start to copy this, and then we can paste this around to where we want it to go um, from a regular pad point of view. You can also define things like keep out. So if I've got a, a, a keep out, I, I can define a specific keep out as a circle or whatever opening I want. Uh, on a pad point of view, so if I had internal layers and I wanted a keep out beneath certain things, I can arrange for that as well. We then go to the mask layer, we'll define the solder mask, uh, and I want this to be just the same size for size for solder mask. Paste mask, we're not going to define anything. We can then look at um, some of the options, so there's uh, the, the default things for suppressing the pads. Um, and lock in the last band to stop me adding any additional layers, mainly on blind and buried visor if you've got that kind of specific thing that you're trying to set up. I get a summary of the pad stack, and then I can obviously save the summary, and then we can save the pad stack, and the pad stack gets written. Let's also do a file new. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to do an SMD pad. Let's call this uh, Steve underscore SMD. We'll click OK. So SMD pen gets selected by automatically. Um, I don't need to worry about the drill tab. I can select a square as the type of geometry that I want. We then start to look at our design layers. So um, my begin layer, I'm going to specify this as a square pin. And um, we'll give it, say, a, f a four millimeter square pad. That's what I need to worry about kind of on, on a design layer point of view. Uh, mask layers, solder mask top. We'll do a square pin. I'm going to, again going to make this size for size, but for the solder paste, um, I want to design a checkerboard style kind of pattern. So what we can do here is we can go and specify a flash. There's an option to browse, so we can browse for an existing flash symbol if we've got one, or I can actually go and create a new one. So let's just go and create a new one. Let's call this Steve underscore flash. Click OK. PCB Editor gets launched, and we can start to design our, our flash symbol or the checkerboard style that we want. So we'll just set up some units. And then also set the grids. Uh, 
and then I'm just going to go and draw the shape that I want. Um, I'm going to be manual because I'm j just for speed, but you can obviously draw these using your XY coordinates, pick the shapes that you want, copy the shapes. So that's the typical kind of paste mask that I want for this pad. We'll then save that and close PCB Editor. Um, Steve Flash gets selected automatically, you get a preview of what's going on. We'll click OK, the flash symbol gets loaded. Uh, we can then go and save the pad stack, and that's the pad design.